Hello, good evening. We are here with an RIT Esports Osu stream. Tonight we have the RITC team going against UC Davis A. So definitely going to be an entertaining match ahead for us. And I'm joined, uh, my name is Nathan, uh, Mommy on Osu. I'm joined by... <laughs> uh, I'm Sebastian and I go by Ventress on Osu. Uh, I'm pretty excited to be here. It's going to be a good match for sure. So got, taking a look at these teams, uh, Vampris, what are you thinking uh, is going to be kind of the strategy going in for this for RITC here? Yeah, so it's going to be very interesting because we have kind of lopsided teams. I think, you know, RITC, we have a bunch of um, players that definitely kind of fit into that uh, OCL B tier range, whereas on UC Davis A, we've got um, one player who's way out of range and then one player who's well below range that it kind of evens out. Um, so it's basically just going to be a question of like, you know, is iFox going to be able to, you know, kind of carry his way through it. Um, so I think generally the strategy for RIT going into this one, at least, is probably going to be to play against iFox's strengths. Um, and obviously, if you are at UC Davis A, you're going to be wanting to play into iFox's strengths. So um, knowing him, it would probably be Hard Rock maps, the speed maps. Um, I know he's particularly good at those. Um, and we're actually going to be getting into the match right now. We're going to be starting with, uh, I believe this is Nomad 2. It's not Nomad 2. No, this is going to be the warm-up. I don't know which oh, team picked this, but... Yeah. It's a stream map, so I just assume it's a Nomad 2, you yeah. know? Yeah, and at this stage of the tournament, the... Map pool is about six stars flat, so definitely doable for both sides here. Like you said, Vampress, it's going to be uh, whether or not RIT can manage to kind of outmaneuver those maps that uh, iFox is really proficient at. And we're going to see if they can put together some solid team performances to kind of beat out the carry performance that we expect from iFox. Right. Now, the one thing that I do think is notable about RITC team is that we've got two pretty decent reading players in Curly Q and OC Ways, and that is something that iFox is not very very proficient at um, in particular. So I think uh, it's definitely one of his weaker skill sets. So I think if they can kind of uh, abuse that um, or use that to their advantage, it will be. I think that's probably the way to go here. For sure, yeah. If you're UC Davis, you're definitely going to be watching out for the reading maps there. Also, the Haydens, I think, are uh, potential options for RATC here. Yeah. It's a nice little uh, tapping warm-up here. Halloween-themed map, because we are into the season, two weeks out from Halloween. Yeah, perfect, perfect timing for this one. <clears throat> so looking at the Cool. It doesn't seem like we have any actual dedicated ARA hidden maps. We've got ABC um, in the hidden 2 slot, which is going to be ARA 8.8, .8, but that's not nearly ARA 8, so there is a possibility that uh, iFox will be able to play that one. Um, we do have free model 1, which is going to be the anti-mod slot at ARA 8 CS5. But I'm thinking for that one, iFox will probably go hard rock, right, and have, um, have Diggy Hazard uh, just kind of taking the hidden. Um, we'll kind of see what happens with that. And this is another warm up, yeah? I would assume so. Yeah. 
This one's kind of a banger, actually. Good song. The map is a little uh, is a little questionable, but is what it is. I'm just gonna test the chat real quick and Twitch just to make sure that we're that is working on my end. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And we're gonna be getting into this second warm up. Not too much to, to say right now, I think. Co Aggies, what's up? What's up, chat? This is just like ESPN. I would I would be inclined to agree. Actually, we've got pretty high production quality here on the RIT Esports stream. All bets on Diggy, I'm afraid. I don't know. I think Diggy's got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he does. You know, Osu Ways is actually doing pretty well on this, things considered. Hey, it's got like 91. That's that's pretty solid. That's like almost uh, almost an A rank. And it looks like in chat we've got a bunch of uh, Diggy supporters. Um, if you guys are not aware, we're we have not started the match yet. We're still playing warm up, so. Don't worry too much for uh, UC Davis. I can understand these these players' pain. This is like this map is a bit of a pain to play through. Yeah, it's definitely a funky little map, but we're gonna <laughs> get to the end of this warm up, and that's gonna be both warm ups out of the way. So, gonna get into the picks and bans very shortly here. What an Osuezo five map. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. We've got a lot of Diggy supporters, actually, in the chat right now. 
Diggy did get second on that warm up. That's all I'm saying. He did, yeah, he did do pretty well. He did better than I Fox. Uh, I respect that. Now <laughs> tell him to rank up. He's a beast. Is Diggy like the greatest D ranker of all time? All right, and we're going to be getting into the rolls now. UC Davis is going to be winning the roll, and they're going to go for first pick. RIT is going to go for second ban. So we're going to be seeing first ban and first pick for UC Davis, and second pick and second ban for RITC. And so we'll get into the bans now. For UC Davis, I don't know. I would be personally going for the reading maps if I were to ban anything here, but we're actually be getting Hard Rock 2, which is pretty interesting considering, uh, I mean, RIT does have some pretty decent Hard Rock 2 players, but I think also UC Davis would be perfectly fine on it. It's an interesting strategy. IFOX seeming to ban out maybe one of the maps that he can play pretty well, but maybe his teammate can't perform at. So yeah. if uh, I can definitely see the worry there if you're worried about a combined team score from RATC, that might edge you out there. Or maybe even, you know, he doesn't feel as comfortable on it. And if his teammate doesn't like it either, then, mm -hmm. you know, that's completely understandable. And then we're going to be seeing a Hard Rock 1 ban from RIT. So no Hard Rock this match. Sorry, everyone. No DJ Mag. If you wanted to hear that song. The best song in the pool. Unfortunately, we will not be seeing any hard rock maps for the remainder of this match. We still might see hard rock, or we will see hard rock on the free mods. We'll see if those get picked. Right. And so now, <clears throat> you see Davis A is going to be getting to their first pick here as we start the match. Obviously, Hard Rock is out of the question. But I think considering the level of iFox comparatively to the rest of the lobby, I think they have quite a few options. Um, or even Diggy Hazard. You know, we saw he did pretty well on the, uh, the warm-up that was just played, which is a kind of tricky, gimmicky reading map. So that might also be an option um, if iFox practiced them and he feels okay. We'll see. And we're going to be seeing Nomad 4, the Daria Korda U to YTP pipeline. So this is going to be a tech map. If you know tournament slots, if you're familiar with tournament slots, this is going to be a tech map. And seeing as it's mapped by zero P, is it zero PP <laughs> or is it op? Uh, I usually say op. Yeah, uh, that's what I yeah. say. <laughs> Nomad 4 being picked from UC Davis A, it's going to be the tech slot, so we're going to see some slider aim, some tricky tapping patterns. And this is one of the maps that uh, we were kind of looking out for that iFox is going to be looking to put the carry pants on, so to say. Yeah, we'll see. Um, knowing the mapper, yeah, this is just going to be a pretty, I would assume, a pretty standard tech map. He makes pretty, um, pretty like normal tech, I guess. Like, I don't think there's, I don't think it's like super slider heavy or super stream heavy. It just kind of has a good mix of both. Um, personally, I do like his tech maps when they're, when they're used in tournaments, so, let's see. And as for lineups, obviously the, the UC Davis lineup is going to be set in stone already, but for RIT, 
uh, seeing that we've got good lucks in the chat, we're probably going to be seeing Mizora and Osuwe's 05 coming in for this map. And here we go. First map of the match. And as we do get into this match, something to keep in mind is this map is only 2 minutes and 8 seconds long, so it's not very... Uh, very long in length, so any early breaks that we see throughout this map are going to matter qu uh, quite a bit more as opposed to something like a no mono one. Yep. Yeah, these these shorter maps are pretty stressful to play in tournaments. You got to be as consistent as possible, and I think that that does put quite a bit of pressure. But also, you know, um, they're shorter, which you know can be nice uh, if you're if you're less consistent on longer maps, but we'll see. We're getting into the map now. We've got some sliders already, as you can see. There's an early break from iFox, and already we're gonna be seeing a pretty decent lead for RIT. is gonna trade that break, but currently, Osuways and Diggy Hazard are just matching each other, and looking at the accuracy, it seems like currently RIT is just winning solely based on act. Osuway is holding a 95 right now, looking super comfy. With another break from Mizora, that's going to be a slight combo advantage in favor of UC Davis, but that act, another break from IFOX as well, there goes that combo advantage. It's going to be Osuways and Diggy Hazard matching each other again. And the act from Osuways is going to keep them ahead for now. Yeah. Any breaks from e either of these players? There goes Diggy Hazard, so. As long as Osu Ways holds, I, I don't really see any way for UC Davis to come back into this one. The map's already almost over, so... Yeah. As we said about the length of the map, it's already uh, one-third out for being finished and 130k lead and climbing. I think Osu Ways is combo now at 700 and going up. I think that's going to do it for this point. Because everyone breaks except him. <laughs> yeah. He's really having one hell of a performance right now. And we're gonna see if he can close this one out with it with an FC, yeah? I believe he's FCing right now. Yeah, what a statement to be made. The first map of the match, and it's a breakpoint with an FC. And now it's gonna be a 450k lead. This one is over. Osu Wade, it seems like he's got the FC now. Yep, that's gonna be an FC coming from Osu Ways. Gonna close out that first point for RITC. What a performance. Good fight from Diggy Hazard, by the way. Um, getting a pretty decent combo. I believe he comboed like over half of the map, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, when you have OC Ways FCing with really good act to boot on the other side, there's not really much you can do. Um, iFox struggling. This map is definitely not really up his alley, and uh, Mizora, you know, doing doing good enough. Pulling her weight. And yeah, really, it's uh, we're gonna be looking at Osu Ways for this one. He had a really good score. Yeah. So now Ball is in RIT's court to see what they want to pick after that crucial breakpoint. Yeah, it'll be big if they can consolidate a breakpoint here. Uh, if they win their own pick now, uh, that basically just means as long as they win their own picks for the rest of the match, then they'll then they'll win. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, if RIT has anybody who's kind of confident on the uh, hidden sliders or airy hidden, I could see them picking a Fremont here. Yeah. Or even going into hidden too, you know, considering how OC Ways just did, he's obviously going to be good at the hidden. And I think. And just uh, as you said that, Mizora <laughs> yeah. put it in the chat. Hidden two going to be coming out from RITC as their pick. There we go. Banger. Banger. Banger alert. We love uh, Polyphia in here. Um, this is going to be a lower diff than some of you might be familiar with. It's going to be. Hinai? He, he, he <laughs> Hinai's expert? Hinai's expert, yeah. Air 8.8, .8, so not the typical low AR slot that you'd expect, but this map is pretty dense, and some of the tapping patterns can catch people off guard if you're not careful. Yeah. Someone call a paramedic. <laughs>
gonna be a little weird. Obviously, most hidden twos that you're gonna see in tournaments nowadays are gonna be jump maps or awkward aim maps, but this one uh, is not that. It's gonna be a bit more of an alt map. Um, All right, GLHS coming in in the chat. We're gonna have Bok Pizza and Osu Ways for RATC. Use your roster from UC Davis. So as we get yep. into the map here, we'll see how comfortable these players are on hidden two. This might be another instance where we're gonna be seeing, you know, Osu Ways versus Diggy Hazard. I think this map again will kind of play into their strengths. Early break from Bok Pizza. Another break. He, he did not like that first stream. Not going to matter too much, actually, as RIT is going to maintain the lead just off of accuracy right now. There's a break from iFox and Diggy Hazard. That's a double break. So uh, early lead for RIT. Osu Ways just kind of doing his thing. He's in his own lane right now. Yeah, as we get into the first key eye, you can kind of clearly see Osu Ways being very comfortable on this map. So he's going to go ahead and take that early lead and start to run with it for RIT. As more breaks come in, Bok Pizza, Diggy Hazard trading, that's just only going to benefit RIT with the uh, only major combo. And now a 140k lead, a 150k lead now in climbing as OC Ways continues to hold his FC. He is really... Making a statement early in this match, isn't he? With an FC on Nomad 4, and now even looking to FC Hidden 2, which it seems like no one else can play. Yeah, the back-to-back -back FC would be pretty crazy. 250k score lead. I almost want to say it's over now. There's just no, <laughs> no comfort on the side of UC Davis, and OC Ways is just pulling this lead for RAT. Yeah, you, you might be right here. I, I really... There's only a third left, and OC Ways is still not broken. I really, I don't think there's much that UC Davis can do here. Unless he, unless he literally stops playing. Yeah, there's going to need to be an absolute collapse from OC Ways, and he's just looking as comfortable as ever. Oh, he is going to find a break, so he won't get the FC, but he has done more than enough for RITC to secure a second point. Yeah, really good performance. He's actually 1v2-ing and then some, even a 1v3 right now for OC Ways. What a statement from him. His match costs are gonna be looking really good after, the, after these first two maps. I think he might have even 1v2'd the first map. I didn't, I didn't catch the, the scoreboard, but... Yeah, he's going to be getting over double the team score of UC Davis A. So I think that kind of confirms, <laughs> as we see in a single A rank and then three C ranks in the lobby, I think it kind of cons confirms for UC Davis that playing tech and alt maps is probably not the way against RIT here. Yeah, good stuff coming from RITC. You're going to secure the second point. And now it's back over to... Uh, UC Davis. So their first pick didn't go as well as they'd like. So what are we thinking that they, they might pick? If you were UC Davis, what would you go for here? Like I said, I'd be I'd be picking an iFox right now. So probably speed. I think DT2 is a pretty solid bet for them, considering it's just going to be pretty simple bursts. It's the lowest R kind of all map. I think DT3 is also an option. Kind of on that note, they're actually going to pick Nomad 2. So another okay. tapping map. Okay. I think this one's completely fair, actually. Yeah. Um, 210 BPM gonna be a little higher than a lot of uh, right. A lot of no one twos at this star rating, but I think it is still gonna be a map that iFox is gonna be pretty comfortable on, uh, or at least more comfortable on than the previous two maps that we've seen here. Mizora gonna be coming in for this one. RIT sees resident stream player, and Osu Way is staying in. He's he's having a good match right now, so I don't I don't I don't blame him. He's feeling himself, and you know, really anything's possible for for RIT, uh, is how it seems right now. Yeah, as we saw from the first two maps, Osu Wei seems locked in right now, so I would expect him to play through this map and probably the next few. He's been having a great performance thus far. We'll see if he can continue as we get into the Nomad Two. Yeah, this one going to be 210 BPM, so a little faster than normal. Also, 
like we mentioned for the first map, pretty short, only two minutes and 26 seconds. Um, so we're going to see if any of the players start to struggle on the higher than usual Nomad 2 BPM. Early act lead coming in for RTC. But like we said, the map is not very long, so any early breaks are going to matter. Who made this fire ass skin? Uh, it was actually me. <laughs> this is my skin. Okay, everyone seemed to combo the entire map. Oh, Mizor with the break. That's going to put Ooh. it quickly in favor of UC Davis. And as long as both players can hold here, they're going to run away with this lead. There goes Diggy Hazard. But is Osu going to trade it out or are they just going to remain locked like this? I think even if it if they both hold... Oh, there goes Mazora again. That's yeah, going to be a lead for UC Davis. Act difference from iFox versus Osuwe is going to keep that lead about 50k in UC Davis's favor. Yeah. And... And Diggy Hazard with the supporting combo will right. keep inching that lead in favor of UC Davis. And iFox, like, like we mentioned earlier, looking pretty comfy on this one. And I think this really is the play for UC Davis in this match. Try to pick stuff that iFox is going to be comfy on. He drops a whole bunch of 50s on that stream, but it's not going to matter as long as he holds his combo. Yeah. The supporting combo from Diggy Hazard putting in the work. RIT is going to need to see a break from one of these players, preferably iFox, if they have a chance of winning this pick. Yeah, but there's only... It's, it's a 150k lead for for UC Davis, and there's really only a quarter of the map left. I don't I don't know if there's too much. There goes iFox, actually. There's a break. Osu Wei is maintaining his FC, but They're going to need time? a break from Diggy Hazard pretty soon, and I don't know if it's yeah. going to come. That 700 combo is just maintaining that lead for them. I don't think it's... I think it's too little too late here. And we're drawing towards the end of the map. Diggy Hazard is not breaking. He's holding he's he's holding the line for UC Davis here. OC Ways, despite his FC, there's really nothing he can do. And that and is gonna, gonna be, be the, the point map. for UC Davis, their first point of the match. Gonna take that by about 180k. Good performances from iFox and Diggy Hazard. Valiant effort from RATC, but they're just going to edge that out with an S rank from <laughs> both Mazora and Diggy Hazard, actually. Quite unfortunate. Unfortunately, despite the S rank and an FC from RAT, unfortunately, the, the combo from Mazora was just not there to support OC Ways. Um, iFox doing a good job to FC the first, <clears throat> the first half of that map, and then Diggy Hazard holding the line for the remainder, making sure that OC Ways cannot bring it back over. We're going to be seeing a free mod one pick. That's that anti-mod we were talking about earlier. So CS5, AR8. <clears throat> Probably going to see OC Ways here take the hidden for RIT. I would assume so. And probably Mizora on the Hard Rock, if I had to guess. And based on what we've seen this match, I assume we're going to be seeing it probably Diggy Hazard on the hidden and iFox on Hard Rock, maybe? Um, if RIT is feeling really funky, we might see uh, an easy from OC Ways, uh, considering he did play that on the first warm up map as well. But, oh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. It's a 1.8 multi, 1.8 times multiplier. So uh, even if he FCs with the easy, it won't be worth full score, but. If he's practiced it, then I think I think it's definitely a good strategy. Um, and we're going to be getting into it now, so we'll see what kind of lineups we uh, these teams have chosen. Yeah, like you said, Mizora on the Hard Rock, Osu Ways on, I believe, the Hidden. And we're going to see how they fare against iFox on the Hard Rock, Diggy Hazard on the Hidden. All right, yeah, so two hard rocks and two hiddens. No easy in this one. This is gonna be the AR8 hidden map though. 
that we were waiting for. We didn't see it in Hidden 2, but we're going to be seeing it now. So we'll actually see the comfort of these players on AR8. Hasn't really been tested thus far in this match. So far, both of them looking pretty good. I believe we might have seen an early break from Diggy Hazard. There's another one, actually, just as I say that. Um, and currently, as Mizora and iFox continue to match each other, there's an ever-growing gap between Diggy Hazard and Osu Ways on this hidden. And that is going to be where the score lead's coming from. There goes Mizora, though. So it's going to be iFox on the Hard Rock versus Osu Ways on the hidden. Yeah, 1 FC on Hidden, 1 FC on Hard Rock. And it's going to be uh, a bit of the act difference as well. Going to keep that lead for RIT. Mizor with another break there is not what you want to see, though. That's going to give Diggy the opportunity to start to build a supporting combo. Oh, Diggy Hazard breaks again, though. Gets, finds a couple misses in that section there. This map is quite punishing if you're not comfortable on area hit. And there goes a double break from RATC, though. Currently, iFox is actually unmatched on his full combo with Hard Rock. And he's going to see that on the leaderboard. He's got to keep his nerves in under control right now. And if he can do that, they can definitely pull back the score here. Very unfortunate break. Oh, and as we say that, immediately iFox oh, breaks. Oh, no. I think UC Davis had a pretty legitimate chance there. That's super unfortunate. Yeah, no real combos on yeah. either side. So that's just going to keep it in favor of RAT, who has a 70k lead now. Yeah, and it's just we're going to be drawing into the end of the map here. Really unfortunate for iFox. He hit the diff spike and then I guess couldn't control his nerves after that break. Good score on the hard rock, but was just was not enough. Unfortunately, that wide aim section is easily missable on hidden. I agree. I agree. It's pretty, pretty nasty. I watched everyone, all of the hidden players break, so I <laughs> understand it. That's going to be another point for RITC. Yep, solid scores all around. That's going to be the third point for RITC. And now we go back to UC Davis to see what they want to pick into this team. So we saw that the Nomad 2 went decently well for UC Davis. So I'm thinking they might uh, go the tapping route and pick another tapping map. Like you said, those DTs that we were looking at earlier. Right. I think the issue with the DTs is that they're, they might be harder for Diggy Hazard. But I don't know if there are any RIT players who are going to be particularly good at them. Maybe OC ways. So I don't actually think it's it's a bad idea. They might They might... Now obviously, obviously UC Davis doesn't know how, how RIT is going to do on DT. I don't know how RIT is going to do on DT. So we'll, we'll just see what they what they go for here. I still think that, that picking into iFox is the way to go. Uh, Noma 2 is a great pick from them, as uh, Diggy Hazard also got a really good score. DT1, there it is. We're going to be seeing DT from UC Davis A. This one, only 224 BPM. Obviously, uh,
nomad maps, some more gimmicky maps, but we'll see. Yeah, still no breaks. Everyone holds through the first key eye. So currently, there's just a small gap between Mizora and iFox. Mizora breaking earlier in the map and recovering. And that's really just going to be the only difference that we see right now. But I think this map is still, I think it's still anyone's game. I think if we see a break coming from RIT, from either of the players, I think it could definitely go back over. And there goes OC Ways, there goes the FC. Diggy Hazard now, he's gonna break too, so it's gonna be traded out. So it's just iFox and Mizora, and Mizora currently has the higher combo. So that's not actually gonna be benefiting UC Davis as much as we might have thought at the beginning there. Yep, as long as Mizora can hold through. And as I say that, Mizora breaks! That's gonna be so oh. bad for RIT. That lead now shrinking rapidly as iFox continues hold? to hold. And it's, it's already in UC Davis' favor. As long as he can continue yeah. holding, that's going to be the, the point for UC Davis. There are no combos for RIT. An unmatched 700 combo for iFox right now. This is really big. And, geez, the map is almost over with less than a quarter left in the map. I think even if he breaks now, I don't know if there's any way that RIT can come back here. They, he might have just secured another point for UC Davis. There goes another break from OC Way. is traded with Diggy Hazard, but it just doesn't matter. Oh, he breaks on the streams though, but everyone else breaks as well. Yeah. So it's gonna be pretty much a four-way reset with here. No combos at all. I think iFox has done enough for his team. 175k score going into the ending of this map is gonna secure it for UC Davis, their second point of the match. Yeah, and a great supporting score from Diggy Hazard, by the way, matching Mizora and then iFox unmatched by OC Ways, unfortunately. What a good score. Had those had his struggles early on in the map, but managed to recover and get a really solid combo, only breaking at the end of the map. Well done. And now it's going to be up to RIT, see if they can secure a match point here. What are they going to go for? I think the best option for them here is probably going to be like something like a Nomad 3 or a Nomad 5. Something that the players on UC Davis might struggle at. I think the hit.
It's going to be a polyrhythm map, AR 8.5, so also pretty low in the AR. It's going to be your standard kind of gimmick map here. Uh, at least at least what you expect to see from a gimmick map. So we're going to have definitely Osu ways in for this one, and Bok Pizza is actually going to come back into the lobby for the low AR rhythm map. All right. Is double picking allowed? Yes, it is. Double picking is allowed, and we're probably going to see, on that note, after this, we're probably going to see UC Davis pick another DT, I would imagine. And I can imagine Bok Pizza fan 111 is quite happy to see Bok Pizza back in the lobby here. <laughs> oh, actually, we've got two Bok Pizza fans. I didn't expect that. I guess he's pretty, pretty popular, huh? All right, and we're going to be seeing good lucks in the chat here. Yeah. Uh, if UC Davis wins this point, they're absolutely back in it. Mm -hmm. uh, There's still consider only one break point between the two teams thus far. So yeah, and with the momentum of potentially winning two picks in a row to tie, that's going to do a lot for UC Davis if they're able to edge this one out. For sure. And something to note here is this is the shortest map I think in the entire pool, only a minute, 32 seconds, a TV size map here. Yeah, you know, I think Bok Pizza, there's a pretty good chance he is the most cracked OC player in his dorm room. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. All right. We're going to be starting the map here. It's a pretty slow start. Really short map, by the way. I forgot to mention only 132, if I'm reading that correctly. So any breaks at all are going to matter. Yeah, like you as cannot, we see already, the map is almost a yeah. quarter over and it has just begun. You cannot afford to be breaking on easy parts in this map. So far, that hasn't happened yet. Sizable act lead for RATC as nobody has broken it just yet. Yep. Oh, and there's a break from Diggy Hazard on the slower stream. Bok Pizza is going to trade it out immediately, though. Is Osu Ways going to break? The question on all of the gimmick maps we've seen in this match so far, is he going to break? So far, he is looking incredibly comfortable. Yeah. Both FC is so far from Osu Ways and iFox, but a 100k difference solely based off the act. And iFox oh. is going to actually break. And Osu Ways is in the driver's seat, going to close this Once one out. Again. Is he going to FC? Is he going to FC? Could not pull it off on the hidden two. Looking very comfortable here. Wow. Might clench it out. Not getting tripped up by any of these slower streams here. The space stream right at the end of the map. No breaks. Osu Ways 05 is on a tear right now. He is just FC'd how many maps? Three? Yeah, I that think. is another 1v2 from Osuways. Also, really good supporting score from Bach Pizza. Gonna confidently win that point for RITC. Yeah, and Osuways has been playing phenomenal phenomenally in this match. He's FC, I I believe, three maps, choked another. Really putting in the work right now. And yeah, that's gonna be a match point. For RITC, we're going to have to see how UC Davis wants to respond here. I think the DT1 was a great pick for them. So I would imagine that DT2 and 3 are also good options for them, but we'll see. See how they're feeling. Hidden 1, actually, coming out. I did not expect that at all. Coming out from UC Davis A, I mean, I'm not complaining. I get to hear Snail's house, like... Um, I'm not complaining, but... It's an interesting pick coming from UC Davis. It might be one of the ones that I guess Diggy Hazard might be a little more comfortable on, so they're hoping to get a good team score here. Yep. Yeah, and this match is best of nine, so while they are down, they only have to win this pick, another one, and then tiebreaker. So definitely not count. do not count them out quite yet. And this one's a bit longer, so unlike the previous two maps, 
I think we can excuse any earlier or late breaks. We're actually going to be seeing Curly Q coming in for his first map of the match. If they win, it could be his only map. <laughs> but the hidden player, he is the hidden main. We'll see how he does here. Yeah, so we're going to have our two dedicated hidden players from RITC versus the two on the two players on UC Davis. We'll see how they fare as we get into this map. I mean, I imagine at least one of them was feeling pretty confident if they're going to pick this one over something like a DT. We'll see. Both, uh, both teams seeming pretty all right. Uh, as I say Ooh. that, Curly Q's gonna find an early break, not gonna help out RIT. And with a small act lead in the favor of UC Davis, that's gonna keep the lead in their favor. Yeah, don't think it'll matter too much though. Like I mentioned earlier, this map is quite long. So any breaks from UC Davis anywhere here could definitely change. Ooh, was that Bancho? I don't. I don't think so. I think that was a real It was miss. really random. Yeah. I didn't expect that at all from Diggy Hazard, but yeah. and he breaks break. again. Yeah, Curly Q has done a good job of uh, building a supporting combo back up again. So it's going to be the FC versus FC with a supporting combo for RITC. Yep. And iFox still holding his FC. There goes Curly Q again. Diggy Hazard going to trade it out. <laughs> this score lead is not moving whatsoever. Just. About 20k in the lead for UC Davis right now. If OC Ways breaks, that will be really bad for RIT right now. iFox needs to hold though. The match is on the line for this one. Yeah. Not and normally a hidden player, but he's looking to looking to make a statement here. Yeah, just under halfway through this map. Now would be about uh, kind of the worst time to break if you're either the FC players. So we'll see if they can keep holding through. Huh. The supporting player is also going to trade breaks again, but it's not going to matter for the score lead. Yeah, they're breaking at all the exact same times. Diggy Hazard and, and Curly Q. <laughs> Basically breaking at exactly the same the same time every time. That yeah. one will actually go untraded by Curly Q, but uh, never mind. <laughs> and yeah, we just have those two FCs now. As long as that remains, though, I, I think UC Davis comes away with this one. Yeah, as long as we have the FC on either side, it's going to really come down to our supporting players, Curly Q versus yep. Diggy Hazard, to see which one break. can have the better combo in the second half. Yeah, or if iFox or OC Ways breaks, we'll see. Once again, that break, we, we saw what happened to iFox after the last one. We'll see. Hopefully nerves don't get to him too much here. Stop the caster. I'm not caster cursing. What do you mean? I would never. Slightly higher combo for Diggy oh. Hazard. I thought it's breaking. That's going to be huge for RIT. OC Ways, is he going to break? As long as he he's holds, so RIT's consistent. got this. Already has the lead now. He has been so consistent this whole match. And OC Ways is going to take this and run with it. That seems like almost 100k now. The map is wow. almost over. That seems like it's already done it. Yeah, that might be it. OC Way has just been the rock for RITC today. And with a full reset from UC Davis, that is going to be the map. RIT will clutch this out in yeah. a 5-2 victory over UC Davis A. UC and Davis. OC Ways we trust. What a fight, though. iFox held a really big combo during that map. I think, I think it was definitely possible there. It was just an unlucky sh uh, shit miss. Yeah, unlucky miss from iFox. Decent supporting score from Diggy Hazard, but unfortunately it won't be enough when you're faced with the Osu Ways <laughs> FC. Great we, score from him. I'm feeling a sense of deja vu. I think we've said this a couple times before. Osu Ways has been has been the man this match. Man of the hour. He has FC'd, I think that's his fourth FC out of just seven maps. So he's FC'd over <laughs> over half of the match. Really, really consistent and strong performance. Good act to boot as well from OC Ways. Yeah, and that is going to conclude 
this match. Good fight from both sides. RIT is going to come out victorious. Yeah. The Osuwe's match cost going to go crazy after this. <laughs> Osuwe's match costs are insane. Everyone invest invest in Osu in Osuwe's 05. For real. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this match in the round of 16 for Osu Collegiate League Tier 2. Thank you for joining us once again. My name is Nathan, Mommy on Osu, and I was joined by Sebastian or Ven Pris. And thanks yeah. for tuning in, guys. See ya.